Thunderbird School of Global Management at Arizona State University or simply Thunderbird, is a global management school located in Phoenix, Arizona. Founded 1946 as an independent, private institution, it was acquired by Arizona State University in 2014. The school derives its name from Thunderbird Field No. 1, a decommissioned World War II-era U.S. Army Air Forces base which served as its campus for over 70 years. The school has since moved to other ASU locations, and construction of a new, $50 million building in downtown Phoenix is expected to be completed in 2021. As of 2018 the school had around 40,000 alumni, also referred to as Thunderbirds or T-Birds. History Early history The American Institute for Foreign Trade was founded by Lieutenant General Barton Kyle Yont, a U.S. Army Air Forces AAF officer who purchased the former Thunderbird Field from the War Assets Administration for $1, subject to the condition that the property be used for educational purposes for a minimum of 10 years. This led to short-lived controversy as journalists questioned the propriety of the transaction. As head of the Army Air Training Command, Yont had been recruited to the project by two AAF colonels, Finley Peter Dunn Jr. and W. Studer Thompson, who considered that the United States was, in Dunn's words, notoriously short of personnel trained for foreign trade. Yont agreed that. The young men who were going to foreign countries to represent American business were, in many cases, entirely untrained and unfit to represent their firms and their government. The school was chartered as a non profit Arizona corporation on April 8, 1946. Over the next six months, Yont and Dunn Thompson having departed the project selected the Phoenix location, arranged financing, remodeled the physical plant which included several airplane hangars and a control tower, and recruited faculty and students. Students were required to be at least 20 years of age who through study in college or the armed forces, have completed at least two years above high school, or the equivalent thereof." This last provision was interpreted to allow military or work experience to substitute for formal university study. Classes officially began on October 1, 1946, with 285 students and 18 faculty members. Early catalogues give these figures as 296 and 22, respectively. 98% of the students attended on the GI Bill provision was also made for the instruction of wives. The first certificates were awarded June 14, 1947. The program mixed business courses with instruction in Spanish or Portuguese languages and Latin American culture, for a «tripartite curriculum» consisting of international commerce, languages, and area studies. Course offerings soon expanded to include French language and Western European and Far Eastern area studies. Students wishing to earn a BBA could transfer their credits to the University of Houston. In 1951, Thunderbird began granting the Bachelor of Foreign Trade to students who already possessed undergraduate degrees, or at least three years of coursework, while the others continued to be awarded certificates. Thunderbird thus became one of the first tertiary institutions to offer international business degrees. 
A Master of Foreign Trade degree began to be offered in 1952, and required four semesters of study, in contrast to two semesters for the bachelors. This replaced an earlier system which distinguished between course I and course II of the bachelor's degree, the latter being more specialized and requiring one or two additional semesters. Over the following decades, the master's degree, renamed the Master of International Management (MIM), came to dominate, while the undergraduate program was phased out and ceased to be awarded by 1975. The school accordingly changed its name to the Thunderbird Graduate School of International Management in 1967, and then to the American Graduate School of International Management in 1973. The American Management Association entered into some sort of relationship with the school, while the North Central Association granted Thunderbird regional accreditation in 1969 and 1974. Accreditation by the American Association of Collegiate Schools of Business proved more elusive and would not be granted until 1994, since Thunderbird did not then award the MBA degree, and indeed emphasized the «difference of degree» in its marketing materials. Over the 1970s and 1980s, enrollment rose to more than 1,000, while Thunderbird's endowment also grew, reaching US$1 million in 1982, and 20 million in 199. At the same time, Thunderbird began to experience competition from other American and ultimately foreign business schools as international business increasingly became a mainstream subject. Thunderbird's relative poverty and lack of affiliation with a full-fledged university proved significant disadvantages even as interest in business education skyrocketed during the Reagan administration. topic 1990s and 2000s Beginning in the 1990s the school went by the name Thunderbird the American Graduate School of International Management After reaching a peak enrollment of around 1600 in the 1990s Thunderbird saw declining enrollment numbers in the 2000s the school also saw a decline in the number of foreign students enrolled as a result of stricter visa rules. In 2001, the school began to offer a Master of Business Administration (MBA) in International Management, replacing the previously offered Master of International Management. Three years later, the school changed its name to Thunderbird, the Garvin School of International Management, following a $13 million donation part of a pledge that was originally planned to be $60 million from alumnus Samuel Garvin. The same year, the school hired Angel Cabrera to serve as president. Cabrera oversaw the school's 2006 adoption of their professional oath of honor. The oath was developed with input from students and faculty and was considered by the school to be the first of its kind for business schools. Students sign the pledge upon graduation promising to act ethically and honestly in the business world similar to the Hippocratic Oath taken by doctors. Garvin's name was removed from the school's name in 2007. The school began to use the name Thunderbird School of Global Management, to focus on the Thunderbird brand and highlight the school's focus on global business. At this time, Garvin's name was given to the newly created position, the Garvin Distinguished Professor of Global Management Research, and was still used for the Garvin Center of Cultures and Languages of International Management and the Garvin Professorship of Entrepreneurship. 
As part of the transition to the new name, the school adopted a logo of a phoenix with a globe-shaped body. Topic 2010s. In 2011, after efforts by a Thunderbird alumnus, Arizona began selling Thunderbird license plates. The following year, Larry Penley became the president of Thunderbird. In March 2013, the school announced a planned partnership with Laureate Education Inc. As part of the planned partnership, Thunderbird would remain a non-profit organization, exempt from income tax as a 501 C 3, but would establish a joint educational service company with Laureate, a for-profit company. This joint company would launch an undergraduate program and expand online programs. Undergraduate students would attend Thunderbird for the final year of their undergraduate degree program. The planned partnership would allow Thunderbird to host events at Laureate campuses worldwide and establish Thunderbird campuses abroad. The school announced Paris, Madrid, Brazil and Chile as potential sites. According to the school, Laureate would have no influence over its academic decisions. Thunderbird would also retain degree awarding powers. However, Laureate would be given three seats on the school's board. Under the agreement, Thunderbird would sell its campus to Laureate in a leaseback agreement. The school would continue to operate from its Glendale campus, but would use the money from the sale to pay off its debts. Thunderbird alumni would have the option to purchase the campus from Laureate within two years or the school may repurchase the campus at the end of the 20-year lease agreement. As well, Laureate and Thunderbird had planned to invest $20 million and $10 million respectively to provide for campus improvements. The proposed agreement was protested by some Thunderbird alumni and board members who expressed concern about the impact that the partnership would have on the school's reputation. In response, alumni in opposition of the proposed agreement signed an online petition in protest. Additionally, some alumni formed the Thunderbird Independent Alumni Association, which expressed concerns over the agreement. Following the announcement of the planned agreement, five Thunderbird board members and seven members of the Thunderbird Alumni Network board resigned. The proposed agreement was also supported by alumni and faculty whose statements were presented on the school's website. The planned structure change was approved by the school's board in June 2013, although the Higher Learning Commission of the North Central Association of Colleges and Schools, the school's regional accreditor, did not approve the proposal. Thunderbird had stated that they anticipated that the agreement would be approved, as other laureate schools are accredited through the Commission. As of January 2014, the school's president was Larry Penley and the school employed 48 faculty members. In December of 2014, Dr. Alan J. Morrison was appointed the new CEO and Director General of Thunderbird. In 2015, the school finalized an agreement agreement with Arizona State University to be integrated as a college within the university in April 2018 ASU appoints Sanjeev Kagram as the dean director general of Thunderbird topic <laughs> <laughs> status within ASU Thunderbird is described as a unit of the Arizona State University Knowledge Enterprise, a unit, in contrast to a school or college, but like an institute, is said to be focused broadly, developing and disseminating knowledge throughout ASU. Accordingly, Thunderbird retains its own logo and other distinctive marketing dress. Um, 
Topic: Programs. Thunderbirds degrees have historically included the Bachelor of Foreign Trade until 1975, the Master of International Management until 2001, an MBA in Global Management through 2016, and Executive Education programs. Since its acquisition by ASU, Thunderbird has revived the undergraduate program the Bachelor of Global Management, its students are called, "...underbirds", phased out the MBA which the Carey School already offered, and introduced the Master of Global Management, a non-MBA graduate degree with a number of formal concentrations. The school also offers a MicroMasters program and certificate. Topic: Publications. Thunderbird International Business Review is one of several journals published by the school 6 times a year. Topic rankings Forbes ranked Thunderbird as the 54th best business school in the U.S. in 2011, and a 2012 report released by Bloomberg Businessweek ranked Thunderbird as the top international business program. Thunderbird was also ranked as the fifth most diverse school out of 82 schools surveyed, based on student responses about students' country of origin, gender, and ethnicity. In 2013, the Financial Times ranked Thunderbird's executive education program ninth overall based on corporate client feedback to the Financial Times. Also in 2013, The Economist released ratings for online programs and gave Thunderbird a rating of good, which was one step down from the publication's top rating of excellent. In its 2014 rankings, published in 2013, U.S. News & World Report ranked Thunderbird as the best international business school in their annual rankings, marking the 18th consecutive year the school was named Top International Business Program. In U.S. News & World Report's 2015 rankings, published in 2014, Thunderbird was ranked 85th for Best Business School, and second in the overall rankings for International Business School, according to a 2019 Times Higher Education, Wall Street Journal report. Thunderbird is currently ranked number one in the world in Masters in Management programs for its specialized Masters in Global Management degree. Topic: Campuses. The Thunderbird campus is located on the former World War II airfield Thunderbird Field No. 1. Located in Glendale, Arizona, a suburb of Phoenix, the airfield was built in 1941 and was used to train pilots. The school has utilized the existing buildings on the airfield and many of the school's classrooms are located in the airfield's former barracks. The airfield's air traffic control tower is still present on campus. Beginning in 2007, the tower underwent a restoration project at the urging of three Thunderbird students who raised $2.5 million for the project. The school was awarded the Ruth Brin Historic Preservation Award by the City of Glendale for the renovation. The tower is currently occupied by the campus store, student lounges, and a pub. In 2011, one of the then 70 year old airplane hangars on campus was removed. The building, named the Thunderbird Activity Center by the school, had been used for special events and exams, but was determined to no longer meet safety standards following an inspection of the campus. Thunderbird also has campuses in Moscow, Russia, as well as Dubai, UAE, and Geneva, Switzerland. Other buildings on campus include the International Business Information Center, which is Thunderbird. 
Bird's Library, and a dining hall for students. The school's campus also features a welcome wall, which was built in 1992, and displays greetings in different languages. On December 12, 2017, ASU announced that Thunderbird's historical campus will be closed and the school will be moved to a more modern facility in downtown Phoenix. As part of the move, ASU invested $13.5 million in the new building, a record investment for Thunderbird. Students <inaudible> 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 Students, alumni and faculty are often referred to as Thunderbirds or T-Birds. Students run a school newspaper named Das Tor. O2. For over 50 years, all graduates have been required to take a minimum of four semesters of foreign language or demonstrate equivalent proficiency. Other student activities include Thunderbirds' several sports clubs. One of the longest lasting is the Thunderbird Rugby Football Club, founded in 1976. The club regularly hosts a tournament, the Thunderbird Rugby Invitational, with other business schools from around the U.S. every year. One student of the graduating class is awarded the Barton Kyle Yont Award in honor of the school's founder and first president. The award is determined on the basis of scholarship, accomplishment and character. Alumni Thunderbird has a number of notable graduates, including Waleed Chama, former chairman of Morgan Stanley, Bob Dudley, the current CEO of BP, and Luis Alberto Marino, former ambassador of Colombia to the United States and the current president of the Inter-American Development Bank. Lee Abermont, the youngest American to visit all 193 United Nations member states, graduated in 2010. Ramon LaGuata is currently the CEO of PepsiCo. Thunderbird has 43,000 alumni who work for more than 12,000 different organizations across 150 countries. Topic. See also List of United States Graduate Business School Rankings List of business schools in the United States